Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And coach, we find ourselves due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with the Indianapolis Colts. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes the Redskins off now onto the field. It'll be the number one pick from back in 2005, leading him onto the field. Their 14-year veteran out of Utah, it's Alex Smith. And despite another terrific season from Alex Smith in Kansas City, he knew, Kansas City knew, from the moment Patrick Mahomes was drafted, this day was going to come sooner rather than later. Now he goes to Washington and replaces Kirk Cousins. Two different quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins a little more of the freewheeling sort. Alex Smith, more deliberate, more controlled, but can still throw that dagger pass downfield. Watch it, watch it. I said, I said. Smith on first down. On the catch, it's Crowder. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. I said, I need it. Out of the gun, Smith. To the sideline, wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive. Couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized. And the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. They run again on first down, Peterson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, Peterson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take down one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge.
Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Just beating the play clock, Smith. Docks him with a grab over the middle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That throw good for four. It's second down. And let's go through the starting defense for Indianapolis. Expected to be a centerpiece of the Colts defense that has to improve, and that's Malik Hooker. Second-year safety out of Ohio State. Was limited to just seven games due to injuries in his rookie season. They love his range, they love his toughness, and they'll need every bit of that in an ever-improving AFC South that likes to throw the ball around. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. Peterson a first down and more. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Redskins with their first trip to the red zone thus far. It's first and 10 at the 14. From the red zone now, Smith. This one caught by Crowder. And the nimble footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing the four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Smith, oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be second and goal. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Second and goal from the sixth this time. Four down, four down. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. He'll get it up the middle. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? 
Now Smith on third and goal. And that is incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. you would think on a 14 play drive you're going to get six out of it but that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Andrew Luck bringing out the Indianapolis Colts. You know, he gets ready for the regular season, and a lot of folks in Indianapolis just hoping that he can stay healthy this year. And how about the progress we've seen over time with him? Remember, he hasn't played essentially in two seasons. And he had all these reports in the offseason. Shoulder still wasn't ready. He's only throwing nerf balls right now, right? He's throwing the soft stuff. Nice throwing regulation footballs. Hey, we got a chance. <laughs> well, I thought he looked pretty darn good in the preseason. Still got hit too often. But I thought he looked really good in the preseason. I think he's ready to go. He has plenty to prove. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's take a look here at the Colts starters on offense and a few questions about the running game. Marlon Mack, the incumbent starter back there, questionable for the start of the year with a hamstring injury. And if he can't go, let's think about it this way. There's a rookie named Jordan Wilkins out of Mississippi who could be their guy. And he's actually outperformed rookie Naheem Hines in the preseason who's more of a slasher and guy gets into the open field. But it all comes down to the offensive line for me. If they can't keep Andrew Luck upright and healthy, they may have no shot. It starts with Anthony Costanza at left tackle, but Clinton Nelson, the rookie out of Notre Dame, he could be an all-pro in his first season. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And now a look at the Washington defense. That corner is Josh Norman. I would think he would want to quibble a little bit. Actually, you know Josh had a full discussion with the metrics people who say that maybe he's not the elite lockdown corner he thinks he is. He would say, ask all the receivers in the NFC East. They would think differently because a day against Josh Norman is a very difficult day for any receiver. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. They'll fake it. Now Love. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Luck able to find Hilton there for a Colt first down. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Tackle made there by Zach Brown. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot 
out of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. On second down, here's Locke. Caught left side by Hilton. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. Carry for the rookie, it's Jordan Wilkins. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now the rookie from NC State, this is Naeem Hines. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Throwing on third down, Luck. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On first down, Locke fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still, a lot of guys to account for. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Mack looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Mason Foster. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. From the gun on third down, Locke. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. We'll head back to FedEx Field after this timeout. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Yeah. 
and the first play will be a field goal try. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty. But there is a danger to getting them started, isn't there? Yeah, with that low drive, you've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air, because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy. Gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field to try and get up and get it. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. I said, nine, eighty. I said, nine, nine. I said, Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Smith. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 22. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. down Smith out to the left it's complete to Dodson and he's brought down back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down and now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen right you see it now the confidence is starting to rise I think now as a play caller because that has happened you lean on it a little bit more you don't go totally away from running the football but you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Hey! Hey, me I said, I said From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, You'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, and when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They give it to Peterson. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Redskins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. From the gun, here's Smith. Going for it all. And probably the wise decision there. No one open, he just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. And right now I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be 
because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will make it 6 to nothing. So the scores on their first two possessions, but 6 nothing. so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the Colts coming out now. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a play fake and it's locked. Throw left side complete. It's Doyle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Mack. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First and ten, Locke. And a diving grab. I think he got that, yes. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. It's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A shotgun snap for Love. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And it's second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Luck. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Blood throwing again. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, 
so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Washington, they get ready to go again here on offense. And let's look at the first four weeks for them in the regular season since we're getting ready for week one. And you stole my schedule. I, have, I don't have it memorized. Who, who are the first four weeks? Well, they open at Arizona, home for Indianapolis and Green Bay, and then they go to New Orleans. So to me, the way the schedule is set up, Alex Smith now the new quarterback. Adrian Peterson to supplement the run game, but I think that Trent Williams, back healthy at left tackle, that may be the key piece for them. To me, they've got to win the first two ball games if they want to chase down Philadelphia in the NFC East. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Complete, Richardson has it. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. A shotgun snap for Smith. They'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Smith finding his big tight end Reed for a Redskins first. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. yard line a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends especially the ones running around the nfl nowadays makes me glad i didn't make it in that league i would have had a really difficult time but now you get to sit up here with me yeah and that's fun isn't it and <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them brings up a nice second down for them and off comes to peterson and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. territory here's a first and 10 at the 45 yard line they'll run it now out of the gun and flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards now let's check on the call holding offense so this will be accepted as he moves the offense backwards So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, Smith. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson, and that'll bring up second down. I want to make a quick pivot here for a second to get your MVP predictions going into week one of this season. Do you have Rodgers, Brady, Wentz, Breezer? Is it somebody kind of off the radar a little bit? Yeah, maybe a Russell Wilson because the offense runs through him now in Seattle, and quarterbacks always get the first look. But I'm going with the running back, Todd Gurley, Los Angeles Rams. I think he's a threat for 1,000 yards on the ground and 1,000 yards to 
through the air. He's that type of a player. So you're going Gurley. What about Deshaun Watson? Any shot there? Certainly. Look at the numbers last year. When he played, they averaged over 30 points per game when he was the starter. When he didn't play, those numbers fell off in a big way. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Redskins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, Smith. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Back deep, Chester Rogers. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 16. From the gun, here's Luck. This is called Ryan Grant. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. <laughs> to throw on second down is long. And incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Lock on third down. And he's got Rodgers. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston that he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Play action. It's locked. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Grant. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Encroachment, defense. And a movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get to the first down. Quickly, but the ball is right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. And the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. On first down, it's long. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rodgers. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Again, Luck. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he missed five. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. So the ref makes a call, no touchdown there, wipe it off the board. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. To the air again, Rock. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Now Love. This will be caught at about the six. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Redskin defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So this time the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier. This time, there's no penetration, so they're able to pick up three. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Adrian Peterson now getting ready to go again on offense. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. for an easy completion and a first down. Smith now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Out of the gun, Smith. Looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. backfield as he gears up to go again he's just been looking for some space you know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line but they need to get this run game going better sometimes you just have to credit the defense they came in with a plan themselves so I think now you try and mix things up a little bit get the ball in the hands of some other people find some other playmakers but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat I was going to say don't forget about it no don't take him totally out of the game That 
After the interception, it's long. Throw left side complete. It's Grant. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. And now, before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. Now a first down throw, Lock. Brought in over the middle by Grant. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Lock. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Colts on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time, they face a third and two. Out of the gun, Lock. And he's got his man, Hilton. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. This is your game, 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised, just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. 
Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. On the carry, it's Wilkins. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. That will carry from back. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The Colts on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. <laughs> to throw his line. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Ryan Kerrigan in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. Kerrigan, the former Purdue Boilermaker, making some noise there. And do you realize in the last five years that only Chandler Jones of Arizona has more sacks in the NFL than Ryan Kerrigan? Yeah, you don't think of Kerrigan in that light a lot of times. No, but you should because he is tough to block. And not only does he get sacks, he creates a lot of forced fumbles as well. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. Crowder now to return. Oh, nice move in midfield. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder, 71 yards. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. Chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Justin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. Hopkins with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. But we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six.
So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not on the team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, <laughs> hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 22. Luck now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Grant. Give him nine there on the first down completion. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll run with man. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. At five yards on the play there, as the drive will continue. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Luck on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, on the incompletion, uh, I turn to you as we continue to do all these week one predictions. And I ask, rookie of the year, could this be a battle for Gotham between Darnold and Barkley? I like it. I like that a lot. A quarterback, Sam Darnold with the Jets, a runner, uh, Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants. But I'm thinking defense. I'm going out west. To the Denver Broncos, Bradley Chubb, uh -huh. defensive end, outside linebacker. Remember, Bob Miller's on the other side. He'll take up a lot of attention. That should give Chubb more one-on-one -on -one opportunities to get quarterbacks on the ground. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll fake it. Now Luck. And nearly picked off there. And it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. And that's when he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Luck. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Colts on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and ten. Luck throwing again. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. 
He gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Washington as they come onto the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They try to fire up the run game with Adrian Peterson. And that gets him a little room as he'll take this up over the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Again, Peterson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. The Redskins on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. He finds his target, it's Crowder. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it out to the 25. It'll be a Redskin first down as Smith hits Crowder. here on first down. A deep ball for Dotson. He's got a man complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Holding offense. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play. A really explosive play that gets wiped out and they have to start over after the penalty. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. <laughs> Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. But that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. Eight yards on the run there, and that trims it to a third and 11 coming up. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them.
The Redskins on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and 11. A shotgun snap for Smith. They find some open field. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. Cases they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Try the air now with Smith. Open man is Quinn. He completes it. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Not the result they were looking for there on third down. They end up taking a loss on the play. The only person happy now, the punter, gets to go out there and show mom that he gets to play in the game. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Luck and the Colts come up now first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Starting the drive with a give to Mack. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Staying on the ground with Mack. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. They'll run it now out of the gun. And yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up the third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. The Colts on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and nine. A shotgun snap for Love. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. They couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. And our focus now moves to Adrian Peterson. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. They start the drive with Peterson. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. AP, Adrian Peterson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now 
Play fake here on first down. And this is incomplete. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Smith now going to throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. down here's the run with Peterson and he's able to work free for about six down to the 18 I know the game's not over but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today 99 yards and he has enough time to go over the century mark well, you got to give it to him again right yeah there's no doubt about it you're not worried about losing yardage here you're not worried about any of that you just want to get him to the promised land for every runner 100 yards or more in a game and they'll get him down right around the 16. and he got half of what he needed there two yards and it'll bring up a third and two more the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Third down. It's Adrian Peterson. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon, and right now they're almost lifeless. They run it here with Thompson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Clayton Gathers makes the stop. Oh, there's no doubt that this is a huge defensive series right here. They've got to hold them to a field goal attempt or less. Otherwise, this game just might be out of reach. Let's see if they can hunker down and get it done. First carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Redskins on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and 11. Hey, 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 hey. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon. Peterson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Hopkins 
Hawkins' kick is good. And the lead stretches 16 to 3 now. So they settle for just the three. But clearly, right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt. Obviously, a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, here's Locke. Over the middle, complete. It's Grant. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Luck now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's Locke. And a scary incompletion. Almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Receiver open downfield, as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It's way too tight, unable to find anyone open. The Colts on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40 percent, four for ten. This is third and ten. Throwing again is Locke. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Smith. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, 
it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Get I said... Smith to throw again. Dots him with a grab over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Redskins on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and six. Smith now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Tressway now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. It's taken to the 26. Skirts. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> as, as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their 38. They begin the drive on the ground with Mack. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. A gain of three, second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rodgers. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Lock on third down. That's complete to Graham. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. down it's long and he's got his favorite target yet again it's complete and he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field so let's see about the call holding offense blitz, blitz. so a decent game but all for naught on the penalty that's too bad isn't it they were feeling pretty good about it the only people celebrating the guys who just gave up that play So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. <laughs> Throwing his lock. Escaping the play. Now a hit and lock. Lost the football. It's out into the Redskins. How did they do? Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules. I'd like to 
declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts him in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It's a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. So out now come the Redskins. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Second and two. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that by the first play of the drive there. Throw the middle, and it's complete. And point down, but not before they're inside the 25. First target, first catch, yet a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Smith now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. Not enough sense of urgency there. Play clock hit zero. Five yards penalty. Yeah, I like your point there. Not enough sense of urgency. People walking up to the line of scrimmage. You've got to get up there and get set and be ready to go. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run. But it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. The Redskins on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The Redskins on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, Smith. Smith loses it. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining.
So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. From the left hash, this from 46. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's when your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. We're following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be taken in at the one. <laughs> and he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> now a first down throw, lock. Ebron caught left side. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Out of the gun, blocked. And his throw is incomplete. Brian Grant, the intended target, and it's third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw, Love. He's going to let it fly. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none. Yes, yeah, exactly right. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. 
Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Peterson. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. On second down, Peterson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. The Redskins, they can smell victory now. They take a knee. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Four down, four down. Down, 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 down to a knee. Here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. But there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room. Throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.